I really should program some keyboard shortcuts. Oh well. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back in X-Ray Terran Conflict. Today is a really exciting day because today, EgoSoft released some, well, probably yesterday, but today we started seeing some live stream pre-release footage of X-4 Foundations. There's been a few streams, I know of one in Russian, one by a guy called Obsidian something, Obsidian Art or something, I can't remember his name. But anyways, those are out there. You can go look them up if, you, if you're not aware of it already. It's really exciting stuff. But we are going to be playing X Baron Conflict for a while. What is this asking about? Oh, did I die before, while I was off camera? That's what's going on? Uh, no, I want the hub. Own ships. Yes, I lost progress. Because I died and got fed up. <clears throat> so we're gonna fix this. Anyways, what this what that spring blossom is is I lost the trade Talking ship that I was granted. using for the Xenon HUD. Up, sorry, not HUD. And so that's that. Did I at least get, keep that progress? Yes, I did. So I am almost ready to equip. Oh, I'm gonna start equipping in an M7 next time I'm recording. But we're just gonna be doing a quick little episode just to have some fun because I realized because last steps between this episode and last episode I've been doing some time fooling around, get mainly building Jump up my replica terrans to be honest, which has been really easy. And I'll show you what I've been 20, doing, which I 30, not really that complicated. Forty. 50%. Yeah, so there's X4 60, streams out there already. You can 70, see footage. X4 is looking 80, really good already. 90, I'm quite happy with it. Jumping. It's. I'm actually starting to feel quite excited about it. I've been not sure how I've been feeling about it lately. Just kind of holding pattern feeling, but I'm actually starting to get excited. It is. Has if this episode coming up? Though tomorrow will be released X4. Asteroid bell. And it'll be a wild party, hopefully. I was planning to test my my own streaming capabilities today. While recording this, which is Wednesday, as oh, this episode's going up on Thursday, because I'm actually starting to get ahead of the game. Incoming message. Hello. Um, but that got taken over because I was watching f a five-hour X4 live stream, which was actually kind of painful to watch because the guy hadn't played an X3 game in a long time and he wasn't experienced with X4 at all if he ever played it. What are you doing? Right, I know what I wanted you for. Home base. Spring Blossom, I want to name you. Come on, there we go. Hub, energy, supplier. Auto jump and Okay, perfect. Trade. I Command you. accepted. Okay, perfect. Let's just give this guy some new prize oh, selected. Eh, good enough. But yeah, that is not what I want to do. Let's print that up. New new prize selected. In case. And let's just toss you some On. credits. Anyways, let's see where it was. Right now, I was going to go be getting my rep up. Now, to do that, I have actually went and kitted out the experiment. Patrol command software. Oops. Well, that happened. We are going to reload that and redo our progress because I forgot that you can't be moving with the Hyperion Vanguard if you are going to, um, yeah, I just loaded an autosave. Um, yeah, you can't be moving the Hyperion Vanguard while undocking or things go boom, as you just saw. That isn't what happened. Friends friends such as you are always welcome on Gona Station. Incoming message. You are actually good to go, so let's just rename you now and get you going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good thing I'm not playing Dead is Dead, which was always a pain in these in X3. Command accepted. New prize selected. Okay, let's try this again without blowing up. Jump device charging at 
20. Yeah. Um, also, I saw just before I started streaming, not only has there been one stream, there's the Russian stream I saw. Um, Angry Joe apparently has a copy. He's apparently streaming it. Entering system, asteroid belt. So let's just move out of the way of the jump gate so we don't die if something comes through the gate. Full stop this time. <laughs> now, when we change ships... We didn't die. Yeah. Where am I going? I want to check out that... Mining outpost, outpost. M well, Gamma. Hyperion Vanguard, get out of danger, wherever it is. That's up here. Docking granted. Command accepted. So let's see what there is. But yeah, basically I've been just doing missions in Terran space and I forgot how easy it was. You are talking? Got something to say, pilot? Thank Great you. timing. I have a job that's sending through the data now. Stop oh, that's easy. I have to do that, just go here. I like to actually give them a decent ship. ship, so I will actually. You don't have to, but. And it, it does give extension. you a boost the amount of money you make. Installed. Boost duplex scanner. In navigate singular. Docking granted. Command accepted. Transorbital XL autopilot activated. Yeah, Zeta. And yeah, basically just quick mis little missions like this. Usually I've been trying um, transport missions and like buy a ship and bring it to me. Because those are really quick and easy missions. You see the rapiers already coming through. Once we're through the gate, it'll automatically be docked and the mission will be completed. No, it won't be instant probably. Entering system, autopilot off. There's another think mission over there. Poltergeist missile fabrication facility, Alpha. Incoming there we message. Are. That's probably the mission done. Let the ship go on right here. Mission Incoming completed. message. Give us a right control. I've been paid uh, 396,874 credits. Beautiful. Incoming message. Oh, I agree, Rancor. Uh, how much energy do you have? Give it some energy. energy set. So yeah, progress, not much in Like I said, I still haven't outfitted the M7. That's going to be off camera. I'm Basically what I've been trying to do is I really want a 100% um, X rebirth before X4 comes out. And I am so close. I just need to do a bunch of idling just to get Reddit, let credits roll in and to get the time achievements because that's all I have left. I managed to get the uh, jump drive this morning. So yeah, and for, as for the progress in this, as you see, I need 52,469 Teladiadium and then I need to start on the ore. That's going to take a while. But I'm probably not going to finish the hub plotline nor the player HQ plotline in this playthrough just because they don't add a lot to the story because they're just sheer grinding for the most part. Because just the hub requires so much materials, it is ridiculous. You are talking to- Is there some- I've got something transmitting information- Another Terran M5. This is silly easy, because we just- we're not, We don't even have to leave the system. Shit. Well, they didn't have to leave the system last time, but we don't have to, um, use the sector map or navigate anywhere. Engine the rudder system. boost, extend boost, at you play. Navig singularity, um, engine special I could command, the freight software, scanner, MK1, just to increase the installed. value level. But I actually don't like doing that just because it's not roleplay y because most people aren't going to be able to use that ship because freight licenses Command require accepted. a license to go around scanning things. And I don't Transorbital have accelerator. Venus. No license, do they? Yeah, parents don't offer a police license. There's really no. Um, it doesn't make sense roleplay wise because that's something only the USC or the ATF would be doing in scanning ships. So I just don't. Like personally, I can offer it, use a freight scanner, but since you don't are actually allowed to use it in Terran space, there's no real point. Oh, something really interesting Entering we did learn in X3 today, uh, about X4 today is during the stream we saw all the races are actually in X4 in some way, Auto shape, or form. Off. We may not be seeing boron ships or stations, or maybe not even boron NPCs, but there is definitely boron in the game because one of them contacted um, the guy we were watching. Solar power plant X. L so all five of the Commonwealth races are present in X4. You are talking? Is this a, do you want the job? Uh, I don't like these abandoned missions just because the ships are always really slow. 
And without a jump drive, that makes them a pain in the Orbital ass. Orbital defense station. You are talking to the- Is there scoop? Do you want the job? Retrieve the ship delivered. That requires time limit. No. Matter, antimatter, warhead, production fab, M, alpha. You are talking? Is there- Do you want the job? Retrieve the ship delivered. No, thank you. Let's Transorbital go. accelerator. The moon. Actually, let's check out the tourist station. This Incoming a message. Time. I don't care about Rapier and Vanguard's finished, whatever. Turn over the rapier, done. Incoming message. Uh, 140,586. So that's like pennies in the buckets at that point, but mainly the main purpose of doing missions in Terran space is to build our rep. Because you see, we're already at 92% of the way through Attention. planetary center. One of your ships is under attack. Mines of Fortune. Uh, uh-oh. That ship gonna make it? How fast is it? It is 130 meters. The ship following it. It might not make it. Let us... Does it have... Yeah. <sighs> it didn't make it. So we're gonna have to... I'm gonna have to purchase another ship for that. Ay, ay, ay. The reason I was using the Spring Blossom for the um, energy suppliers because it is the largest cargo Entering hold. System, Unfortunately, the I made the mistake of fully outfitting it, so most of its cargo space is actually full. Which is, I think I gave it magic, magic matter pressure. I only gave it Starburst Shot Goose Cabin, but I might move it. It doesn't need all of them, it just needs some of them. So I might buy another ship and use the spring blossom again or super fair i i need to think about this off camera because this is annoying Autopilot now it's not on. getting any to the audio in the meantime any missions here in terran space oh in the moon nope nothing in the moon sector let's go to mercury autopilot activated Actually, the only race that we haven't had confirmed for X4, at least being present in some way, is the Terrans. We don't know Entering if there's going to be Terran colonists Venus, or something off. like that. Like, I think it's been confirmed that their ships and stations aren't in, like, the Boron. But Phantom we'll Missile Fabrication so, yeah, Facility they, they, Alpha. There's at least going to be two DLC coming out for X4. Yeah, that's because of the Collector's Edition, which uh, if, if you've purchased... The collector's edition, you get the first two DLCs. Not free of charge, because the collector's edition is it's more, it's much more You are talking to the spit it up. Encoding data for transmission now. You might find things a little uh, tricky. Anything there you find of I interest? I can make that. Yeah, I have a jump drive on this thing, so I can make that. Let us do it. This guy wants to be trans. That's a transport mission. He is in for adventure, because he's getting a transport above. Or the experimental shuttle. We'll use the docking computer just for teleport dock. Successfully docked. Greetings. Okay, I'm securely on board. Get me to my destination now. Jump device charging at Actually, that's 10%. We, can do. we can finish exploring Terran space because I noticed the map that I don't have all the Terran sectors unlocked. Well, visited at least. Entering system. Asteroid belt. Not going to use the autopilot in Terran space, except transorbital accelerator. Updates. Jupiter. Because having to go around the stations with autopilot would suck. I see, it just turned us around. Just by the fact we were past the station. Silly machine. Yeah, I always, I like using the autopilot for going through the gates, just because big ships have a tendency to come through the gates in X, in these games. And if you're not using autopilot, I have a tendency to, to get rammed straight into things if I'm manually flying. Entering system, Jupiter, sure USC, uh, orbital sub autopilot off. The autopilot makes sure that the gate's cleared when you're going through it. And locked. Successfully done. Connection to local products are not bought. 
You have gained recognition. Guardian of Earth, they like us. Oh, did I just hit a jack? No, I did not. I was going for, um... Wildfire missile removed. Pressing random keys right now. Uh, what can we buy now? Oh, we can buy basically everything now. Beautiful. Tokyo. So if we wanted to, we could go straight for an M2, but those are really expensive and I don't think they're necessary. On the other hand, there were some care there was a uh, uh, a destroyer and a carrier. Insufficient every time we credits. Go into, uh, that's the that's the real reason. They're quite expensive. So we'll what I'll do is I'm gonna make a save up some money, and before I buy an outfit, the Yokohama, I'll make a separate save. Buy the outfit, buy the Yokohama, outfit it, and then we'll try Operation Final Fury. I may or may not record and upload that, even if it fails. Well, if it fails, I may not upload it, but one way or another, it's going to get recorded. Transorbital accelerator, Jupiter then, two. Watching me die, uh, watching me blow up might be interesting. I've already showed that once this episode. In the meantime, let's get to the second Jupiter system. I one, that's one thing I kind of hope makes it an X4 is we get to go back to Terra. Because I would love off. to see the soul system rendered in the X4 engine with the transit orbital accelerators, with the highways. Imagine instead of like these transit orbital accelerators. Transorbital like, accelerator. Straight, Jupiter we three. Could fly around Jupiter and just watch it go by. Actually, I don't know. I didn't. I don't recall. If the streamer I watched went through a transit orbital accelerator, or if he just went through highways and gates. Entering system autopilot off. Water purification plant M. Water purification plant M. B. Food preparation facility L. Alpha. That looks like everything in here. Next, we have Saturn 3 unlocked, so let's go to Uranus. As we have your on the autopilot on. activated. Yeah, because it'd be much more satisfying being flung towards you and watching closer. Entering system autopilot off. Oh well, I can dream. Maybe maybe some enterprising modders will do it. Or maybe it's part of Egosoft's plan to release Soul System eventually. Transorbital Accelerator, Jupiter. Also, with the sheer size of the Terran stations, even in X3, we can kind of see that where Egosoft was planning to go with with the next games in the series, as this, this Terran stations obviously are so much bigger than anything the Commonwealth has. Autopilot These floating cities in space were envisioned in their was envisioned in the game's future, but with X Rebirth and X4, it became much more achievable with the new autopilot. And the fact that these stations can have def could defend themselves. Transorbital accelerator, asteroid belt. Oops, wrong way. Autopilot. I want to go north. Transorbital accelerator, Saturn. Because I was not paying attention to where we're going. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't think we'll explore, because um, Terran, for some reason, the outside Terran source is for sectors, which you figure would be like Cooper 1, Entering 2, or system, Cloud one, 2. Pilot off. But no, there are unknown sectors for some reason. Uh, we won't go that far. Transorbital Accelerator, Uranus. And you have Transorbital Accelerator, Titan. And there we have Titan in the background that we can see. We haven't looked at Saturn actually. There's the rings planet. It, the um, experimental shuttle in the foreground. I almost called it the skunk. That's actually another thing I kind of want to see. I want to see the experimental shuttle rendered in X4. I'd love to be able to just climb inside this and have a look around the interior. Because <laughs> that'd be really nice to see. Um, I made a comment about that on the. Um, at the USF Discord, and I, my response was, you want to the old Joker yet? Or no, the old girl made when called. And I'm like, Entering no, this is what happened, the skunk. Off. 
very fun to fly. Where's the south gate? There's the small. There's the south orbital trans. Transorbital accelerator. Uranus three. Sixty kilometers out. Travel speed would be oh, um. Xor's travel speed is actually really fast. Apparently, I remember what was the number. He said like several thousand meters per second is how the travel speed works in X4. So you have regular engines like for combat thrusters, which is what we have all been used for for X4 for all the X games except X4, which also had the boost. And X4 has the boost, but it's the exact same way. Entering system autopilot off. And then it has travel speed. Ice harvesting facility. Very much like beta. Um, X, um, free Ice harvesting facility. Cruise. Alpha. Matter antimatter warhead production fab. That's M everyone. Alpha. Yep. Let's head back towards the blue planet. Blue gas giant and head towards Pluto because Pluto has the Kuiper belt. Autopilot activated. Which we haven't unlocked yet. I guess when I was in the Terran sectors before, I only did the plot relevant missions. Like Saturn 2 or 3. Entering Sis Autopilot off. Where's the, there's the data. Transorbital Accelerator, Neptune. Unfortunately, when, when I'm uh, idling in X Rebirth, I can't idle with the SATA because every time, because my managers are right calling me every few minutes to let them know they have money for me, and that shuts off the SATA. So when I idle, I just set the computer up. Like I've left a measure with running while at work. Entering system autopilot. Which some off. people call, I've seen a lot of people call fairly cheaty for in X3 games where you just park yourself in the in a system and just idle with SATA. But once again, I'm not trying to play X Rebirth at this point. I'm just trying to get those last few. Transorbital accelerator. Pluto. Um, I might 100% X Rebirth VR someday. Um, that's if I ever get a VR system. I'll play, I'll go back, play X Rebirth VR, and maybe then play X4 VR if it exists at that point. But I'm not getting a VR system anytime soon, because they are expensive. Entering system autopilot off. Orbital patrol base. Orbital patrol base. This is the Oort Madness one. Here we go, Oort's Curse is what it's called. Class 4, mining operation by long-range scout vessels en route to Proxima Centauri. The ore cloud remains largely untouched, halfway between home and distant suns. Few willingly choose to settle here. Those who dare are often noticed to come to the Oort's Curse, a bandus with no known reason or cure. Actually, we still have a few minutes left in this episode, so we will, um... Transorbital Accelerator, Kuiper Belt. Kuiper Belt, here we come. That'll be the last actually named system that we have yet to visit in X3 TC for Terrans, aside from the, well, that was Entering system, Kuip <laughs> autopilot off. Orbital patrol base. Mining outpost, M Alpha. Remember there was a mine or something on the other side of this, the, this orbital patrol base. Orbital patrol base. I may be mistaken. I am seeing no mining outposts over here. So let's just head over to the um, Oort Cloud next. Transorbital Accelerator, Pluto. But yes, um, so excited for X4, finally. I've been wondering how I've been feeling about that and now I have an answer now that I actually have some raw gameplay footage. I'm Entering autopilot off. Unfortunately, I have to work tomorrow, but then I got ex then I got transorbital off. accelerator. Oort cloud. Oort cloud. ATF military Aegir autopilot uh, off. Oops. Transorbital accelerator ATF military Aegir. And that the ATF ships are sexy. Right, so are the Terran ship. So are the USC ships. No. Transorbital accelerator. Oort cloud. I'm going to run it 
to that M7. Entering oh, yeah. autopilot off. off. Mining outpost M Alpha. I don't have the Oort Cloud fully explored yet. I feel orbital sorry, patrol guys, base. This orbital patrol base. Transorbital accelerator. Unknown sector. Like, you see, like, this is a problem with these systems, uh, these sectors out Attention. here. Attention, one of your ships oh, is under attack. Spaceweed Grove. Command accepted. Let's hope that works. Didn't work. That's mildly frustrating. Entering system autopilot off. Mining outpost L Alpha. Like they say, there's no one calling that would willingly set out here, and they call transorbital like accelerator like there are unknown mines sector out here. Like I can understand if it was labeled like classified or something, but no, they're straight up marked unknown. I have that same problem with that sector between the and the sector. Entering sys autopilot off. Orbital defense station. Transorbital accelerator. Unknown sector. Yeah, see, there's four. There's gonna be four of these unknown sectors. Oh, they're just having populations. That's ridiculous. The unknown sectors, like unknown sector next next to the um. No, no. no. Population there is this sense this unknown sector is no population either. But there's a sector I, I can see why this one's called unknown actually. Never mind. Because there's a military sector is supposed to be classified. Yeah. I think that this will be the third? Yeah, it should be the third, I think. Engine autopilot off. Like, there's another mine over there. Mining outpost L Alpha. Transorbital accelerator. Unknown sector. Right, you have four Terran sectors, each one with populations listed, and listed listed as being race, being aligned to the Terran race, but they're called unknown sectors. I can at least name them Orc Cloud 2, 3, and 4. Five. There's five of them. Or hell, there's maybe Planet... Um, actually, no, we haven't had Planet 9. Mike Brown hasn't found Planet 9 yet. So Engine exist. system unknown. Autopilot off. Matter, antimatter, warhead production fab. M. Alpha. Military base. Yeah, we just need these two more things and we will be done for this episode because we have fully explored Terran space. And done. There we go. So anyways, my neck the next thing I upload after this will be X4. I look forward to seeing you all then and I hope you are all as excited as I am. I've pre-ordered it. I'm waiting for the preload to start, which I hope will start soon. I should start talking. Sorry, Docking granted. Autopilot activated. So yeah, see you guys in the next time with X4 Foundations, the most recent well, the newest game in the X4 series, which has not come out yet. Oh, not newest yet, it's the next is the proper way to say that. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.